Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your monthly reading for the month of May. And this will be for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm going to use the after tarot for your reading. Please remember the readings are only general. And then I will draw you a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed Okay, very, very nice. I've had this come out a few times today for the readings. I love this. This can mean coming into money, can be an inheritance, but it's the end of a cycle. And very often reaching the end of a cycle with the Ten of Pentacles means you're in a very, very good place. So you've learned all your lessons and you're feeling very rich and rewarded for what you've gained. Um, sometimes it can be somebody gifting you money. It can certainly be an inheritance. Um, but whatever this is here now, it's going to give you an opportunity to start building for your future. Some of you may be uh, working with uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. The Queen of Cups can sometimes be a mother figure. Um, it's somebody who has great intuition, is really good with their advice, can be a counsellor but certainly someone who's got information to help you with here. You could be you could be watching this person. You could be spying on this person here. Or somebody could be doing this with you. Maybe you have someone who sees you as their abundance and is currently watching you to see what you're up to. I think they're trying to pluck up the courage here to maybe make some sort of um, offer to you here. You may have perhaps knocked this person back in the past. This person could have made an offer before and you weren't ready. But now with the lover's card here, I'm thinking that they're going to come back in. You've got someone returning here that you may have knocked back or hurt in the past. Someone who's been watching over you here, possibly a water sign. I feel that they are feeling they're in the right place now to offer you what you need. Um... Perhaps the reason that you weren't able to come together before may have been lack of resources. It may have been that this person's gone away and felt that if they had more money, more resources, more things to offer you, that you would be find it hard to refuse them. So let's have a good look. Somebody's definitely finishing out some sort of cycle here. Now, the Ten of Swords is the card of finishing out some sort of cycle of negative behaviour, negative thinking... Um, but something here, um, sometimes can be sort of like a betrayal, something that sets you on a new path that perhaps isn't, um, isn't that nice. Yeah, you're just starting something new here. Okay, let me just put a couple more cards down. We have the Magician coming in and I have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, Sagittarius. I feel that you are stepping into your power here. I feel that you've learned some lessons, you've learned some, you've learned to close off something here and you are now stepping into your power. I feel this is you who wants to offer something to someone else, but it could be someone that wants to offer something to you. But whatever this is, it is a dream come true. It is a wish or something you've wanted here. And I feel that you've done a very good job of manifesting a brand new start in something here. Something that you've wanted before, but the time wasn't right. Maybe you didn't have the money before. Maybe you didn't have the resources before. But now is a good time to get on board with this. Okay, waiting for your ships to come in here. Okay, look at this. There is somebody here. I feel like it's got something to do with you wanting to work on some sort of relationship here. Has a bit of a similar feeling to another read I did earlier. So you may, if you're looking at your different aspects, you may find that the other reading resonates with you too. There is something being offered to you here, a brand new start after perhaps having a really tough time. I feel that you've wanted to start something and you've been waiting for the right time 
to do something here, something you've wished for, something you've wanted, but perhaps you haven't had the money, the resources, or even the energy to do this before, because I see you coming out of the end of a cycle. So for me, having the Ace of Swords and the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles says to me that you have everything you need here to do what you want to do. Now, for some of you, this is something to do with building your future. For some of you, it may be asking someone to move forward with you in the future, but it can also be something to do with work, a job, a personal business, some, something that you haven't felt that you were in the position to do before now. Oh, wow. Okay, for some of you, this is about love. It is about a relationship. That's really beautiful. Okay, look at that. Okay, I feel like Seven of Cups coming out here. It is a bit dreamy, definitely. I feel strongly here that somebody is either coming in because they have all their ducks in a row um, to offer you something um, that perhaps they wanted to offer you in the past but didn't feel that they were in a position to do that. Um, for others of you here, this could be about something that you have really put your heart into, a business, something you've wanted to do for a very long time and you now have an opportunity to move forward. Um, to me, it feels like you couldn't do this before because you didn't have enough money or resources or whatever. But for others of you, this is really wanting to move forward in a relationship. Um, I feel that you have, perhaps you've professed your love to someone before and maybe you didn't think that you were right for them or it could be the other person not thinking they didn't have enough to offer you and they've gone back to gather their wealth together, their money, their resources and everything so they can come back and offer you what you, they think you deserve here. So there's money here. I've just almost definitely dealing with a water sign here. Um, someone who's been keeping a little eye on you too while they've been building their own personal strength up. I feel like there was some sort of refusal in the past or they may have walked away from a situation because they didn't feel that they had enough to offer you and they've gone back to work on their own resources, their own funds and everything else to be able to offer you what they think you deserve. I have no cards from the past here, but I think this is a, a, a person you've met before. You may not have had a relationship with them, but they've certainly been watching you so they can come forward and offer you something here. You are this person's dream come true. And I feel like this time around, you may recognize that this is the right person for you too. Maybe you didn't even look at them before because they just... They weren't confident enough because they didn't feel that they had enough to offer you. Um, it sort of feels like the ugly duckling and the swan a bit here. Okay, so we have the resting tree, which is about patience and stillness. Um, 22. Okay. The resting tree is a sign for you to stop focusing and planning and be at peace in the moment. This is the representative of non-action and relaxation. Relaxation. <laughs> Action. Patience is the key to, be, to being with this ally. The resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed in the meadow. This isn't the time to forge ahead in any way. You may not be... Oh, excuse me. You may not be taking enough breaks, so you're invited to be still and contemplate your good fortune even if it means blessing the chaos in your life. This is a sign to allow everything to fall away except the stillness of the moment. It's the living within the space between breaths. When the resting tree appears, it signals that you've done all you can for now and it's time to unwind and allow your story to unfold of its own accord. You've earned the right to rest and relax. Amazing ideas will come if you do. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. So I think now you're waiting You'll be waiting for this to happen. This will unfold. Have a great month.